As soon as you're ready, all good. Cole not, uh, hasn't been too much of a, a turnaround time from the Derby into the Mariners game. Have you spent too much time agonising over what happened against the FC or is it more strength? Yeah, zero time spent on Sydney. Uh, that game has come and gone. It was a good game of football, I think, all round. I think, as I said, at the end of the game, I think first half they were probably the better team. Second half, I thought we were the better team. And uh, we ended up splitting the points. So we move on from that and we've got a big game ahead tomorrow. Um, Alan Stadding said earlier this season that people have underestimated the Mariners given what's happened to them in the last couple of seasons. And that's why maybe they're surprising people. Is there any element of complacency that you have to be aware of? No, they're, listen, they're a good team. They got good players and obviously they're very well, well coached as well. You know, I've only been here a brief time last year with the last 10 games of the season. And what I'll say in every game that I was involved in last year, they were very close by the odd goal. Now and again, you get two or three goals, but most games are decided by one goal here and there. And it's the same this year. You see the moments in games are the ones that decide the results. You've seen that in the early part of the season here. Um, and it's no different to as it was last year. You know, everyone sees Sydney as the, the the favourites because they've won it for the last two years. But Central Coast have won two games out of two. But on another day, Wellington have lost two games. But I think Wellington have played some of the best football in the league so far. You know, and that's what you, you know you talk about as a coach is you stay positive. You try and keep playing a certain way as you want your team to perform. And I think Alan's got his team set up as the way he wants to perform. They're very hard to play against. They're very hard to beat. They, they defend very well, organised, structured, which you need to be. You have a framework. Uh, and then you, you get your goals from that starting point. So not surprised me one bit. I think they're, they've got a good group of players. I'll never be happy if you know me. I'm, I'm content. I think the, the way we want to play is, is developing as games go on. Um, I think we had probably better chances in the first game and we lost. So I don't really worry about that too much. I think on Saturday against uh, you know, our closest rivals, our local rivals, our bitter rivals, whatever you want to call them, um, it was a very tense game. Uh, they had chances to probably go ahead in the first half. We had chances to win it in the end, and we looked very, very strong towards the last 20 minutes of the game as well. So, you know, we picked up one point out of those two games, and then we beat Newcastle in between. So the league is very tight at the moment. It's about trying to implement the way you want to play it and picking up results. As a, there's no point being in really, really good form in the early part of the season if you're going to hit a period over the, over the course of the season where you're going to slump a little bit. And it's about getting on little momentum runs when you can. And obviously whether that's winning or losing, getting out of that momentum run if you are losing games. So we just got to be more consistent and we know that. You mentioned the early part of the season, you know, it's nothing's ever judged on that, but if you do win, you can go top. Does that come into thinking at all? No. Would it be a nice thing to, to be able to see? Yeah. Nah, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of history in relation to my thought process on that and you probably have a good guide after about 10 games and I tend to use that as a, a barometer, a target. So obviously it gives the players confidence when you win games and more importantly when you play well and you're winning games. Um, I'm focusing on breaking the game down to them in phases in our build-up play and then off the ball as well. So we'll do it stage by stage and we'll have a good guide of where we're at probably after about 8 or 10 games. Yep. No, not. it was like that last year, but what had happened is Sydney had obviously got points on the board and Sydney were probably not the best team in all games, but they got key players in key areas that were able to win games of football. You know, the boy scores 20-odd goals up front and you've got a chance of obviously being successful in this league. So I think every team's looking for a goal scorer that can score that. If you don't have one goal scorer that can do that, you have to score by committee. I think yesterday's game was a prime example. I think MacArthur were very, very good in the first 40 minutes of the game in total control. But I thought Newcastle the best team by far in the second half, the way they transitioned very well. And on another day, the result could have gone the other way, which is what I said earlier is, you know, it's moments in games. They, they decide the results. Is the lack of goals 
Well, we we obviously know we lost Mitch Duke last year, uh, who scored a number of goals for us. Coxie's got up to speed now. We've brought in Bernie Abini. We've got Kwame, who's fit. He missed all the pre-season other than three days of training after a been out for nearly 10, 12 weeks. So uh, we are getting up to speed. Uh, does it worry me? No. Is it something that I will look at? Yes, as the season goes along, you want your forwards to be scoring goals or your midfield players, attacking players to scoring goals. But if you actually look at the breakdown of the three games, I think all of them could have scored in the first three games of the season. Obviously, Nicola had a great chance prior to the penalty on Saturday, so he could have got his first goal. Bernie should have scored. Coxie could have scored as well. So I don't worry about that too much at the moment. What's important is you do get goals from all areas of the field, and we're certainly doing that as well as defending very well as well. Yeah, yeah. Any, any team of mine, you won't see a, a lack of fight or desire. You know, I, I said from day one when I come in, it's sometimes you take for granted what you have. Uh, and when you're new to things, you see what's around here, you see the facilities, the infrastructure, you meet the, the good people are here. You've got to have a desire to play. If you don't have a desire to play, eventually I'll, I'll find out whether you've not got a desire to play. And you won't play. It's as simple as that. You've got to have a fight, you've got to have hunger, you've got to have a passion. Every, millions and millions of kids, boys and girls, want to play this game. So if you think you can just turn up and just go through the motions and that lot, you're mistaken or you'll get found out. Uh, and I've instilled that from day one here. It's a privilege to play for this club. You've got to earn, to earn the right to play for this club. And when you get in the team, it's even harder to stay in the team because you get a squad that's ably wanting to do the same. And if you can do that, you can be competitive. Then it comes down to the moments of the quality in the final third of the field, which gets you results on, on, on the weekends as well. Well, we're probably going to need to make a couple based upon um, we're a little bit banged up. It's the, the the only consistency of the schedule is the inconsistency of it, which I think teams are finding out. So, you know, coaches will complain when they don't play for two, three weeks and coaches will complain when they play two, three games. In It's normal in England, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday. Um, we'll make no excuses. It'll give players an opportunity to play. They'll get the chance to play. There'll be some new faces and the boys are ready to go as well from the weekend will go again. So without actually naming my team to you, um, you know, there will be a few changes.